get in the day. Ah! <laughs> Hello, and um, hi fellow makeup fans. Uh, th this is Sunday, and I don't know the date. And it's the 26th of May. It's the 26th of May, and we're going out. We're going to try and catch a car boat. We don't know if we will, because it's quite late now. But it's a beautiful day. Isn't it a beautiful day? It's, it's red hot. Yeah, it's really hot. I don't really like hot normally. Well, it's not red hot. No. But it's warm. Yeah. So. Molly's already panting in the back. Yeah, Molly's panting like a good one in the back there. Um, it's 25% off at the clothes. It sounds pretty good, Sonic. Well, we don't need any clothes, do we? I don't know. No. <laughs> we do not need clothes. <laughs> you don't need clothes. No, well, I'm losing weight, so I don't want to buy any no, clothes. No, no, you've got loads of clothes. You've got loads of t shirts, vests, dresses, shoes. Right, so <laughs> we're gonna. It's a fact. It's a fact. So we're gonna go across to Arneson Centre um, to do a shopping today for a change, and I'll have a look in Pound World while I'm there. And I need to go and collect some stuff from Boots at Washington tomorrow because I've ordered some stuff in because um, it, it was free delivery to store, or it was I think two pound or four pound. I can't remember exactly the price to get delivered to the house. So I thought, well, I'll get it delivered to the store because we go there anyway. So it's just a couple of um, model zone things, some new things from model zone. What? Oh, what are you doing? Just going to get some money. Just going to get some money. Are you going to get some money? The cash point. So um, I'm going to have to put a window down here. It's really hot. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I have used my Disney palette today and oh my goodness the shadows are beyond amazing they blend beautifully they're really pigmented I love it I saw a couple of reviews where people were like oh well you know it's not so good blah 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 but oh my goodness I love it I've got it on today And I've actually got a ton of the colours on today. I absolutely love the final effect. It's like really quite, quite rainbowish really, but it's like, um, I used the yellow and then the orange and then the pink. Then I took um, the purple and some of the blue. I know that one's called Lapis, it's really beautiful. Got another colour underneath and then I used Mystical Wonder, which is the very sort of vibrant purple colour over the top. And then I used the matte ivory colour on the top and I can't remember all the shades but I've done a get ready with me and um, with a look so hopefully that will be up before this or after this but yeah that's just me kind of creating the look I really enjoy doing it I just love using colour um, and I know it's a bit wild for like to pop it out of Sainsbury's but I just enjoy makeup and why not if you own the makeup then why not put it on your face is what I say so I'm in a particularly happy mood today as well because I weighed myself the other day because this is the first week of my proper healthy eating and just starting to make changes in my diet. Um, and I weighed a certain weight at the beginning of the week and weighed myself today, which is exactly seven days from the day I weighed myself. And I've lost six pounds this week, so I'm really, really happy about that. And I've actually had a few treats and not been you know I haven't like been starving myself or anything so I'm definitely going to do a video on how I lose weight I've definitely got into the swing of it and I'm really enjoying it I just feel like I find it hard when I have a lot of stress going on because it's just I'm an emotional eater and when I get stressed or you know things like that I find it difficult also um, another thing is is that when I don't lose the weight I find it very stressful so I was like exercising a lot and walking a lot but it wasn't actually coming off um, and it was a bit disappointing. I like I exercised so much in a two-week period and lost one pound. And it was like, oh, I, you know, I'm gonna chuck this in. I'm really sick of it. And then we got new scales, and the new scales said I'm a lot heavier than my old scales did. So obviously the old scales were just rubbish. Um, but now we've got the new scales. I didn't like it when I first weighed myself because it was like I don't want to be that weight. But um, I know at least where I'm working from now, rather than guessing on the other scales. So that's good. And have so, you set it up so that you've measured your, your, your body fat? No, I haven't. You need to get set up so you know what you're doing. Yeah, these are like super intelligent scales and you put in your height and it takes your weight and then it tells you what your body mass index should be, your BMI. And it shows you that going down as well as your weight, which is really good. So we do need to have a look and sort of sort that out. But I was just saying, I have been so good this week, haven't I? Hello. 
Yes. <laughs> well, answer when I'm talking to you. Well, you've had rice and something. Mm-hmm. Get off. <laughs> Crazy drivers. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm enjoying it. And I'll do a video about it. Um, something and I can't remember what but somebody got somebody flowers and I just kind of went oh it's really nice when a man just kind of does that out of the blue just buys flowers because it I... was Nashville Nashville it was it was Deacon gave it to the the pet the pet girl oh Stacy yeah Stacy the vet we love Nashville yes but then again you always you always give your girl flowers when you've only seen her like a couple of times like on your early dates and this was only the second time that you'd seen her or well it wasn't just that anyway it was it was a bit of a peace offering because he'd been a bit of a knob. <laughs> Excuse Alex language there. <laughs> well, you know, because he kind of Yes. He was, okay. he, was, he was being a bit of a bloke with that. A bit of a bloke. And then he realised that he shouldn't be a bloke, he should be a man. Right. You know I mean? Yes. Or a gentleman. A gentleman. Like. Not a man, a gentleman. Not yes. a bloke. A gentleman. A gentleman, yes. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Respectful. Respect. Yes. So, yes, he got the flowers. So, I've only ever had flowers twice of Alec. Once was our first year anniversary and then yesterday. Oh, no. no yeah. Oh, yes. Twice. I have Surely. not. Oh, no. I no, no. I, I haven't. So. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Definitely I, not. I bought you some daffodils from the field just a few weeks you ago. Bought, you bought me some daffodils from the field. Oh, you I, bought me some. He paid the field fifty pence for daffodils. What? Well, what it, it was actually more of an effort to bend down and pick them. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> now who's been a knob? <laughs> right. So yes, I, I got daffodils free from the field the other week. That doesn't count. It's really nice when your man goes out and buys them a nice bunch of flowers. I think. Not. I did appreciate the daffodils. I love them. I really love daffodils. I'm not usually a fan of yellow flowers, but I do love daffodils. They only come in one colour. Wouldn't it be lovely if daffodils came in another colour? Oh, they do. Do they? Well, they come in like yes. white. Some of them are white. Whites and oranges. Yeah. And some of them are yellow, and some of them are white orange. Yes, but they're not like blue or anything. Somebody or should blue. breed a blue daffodil. Or a pink daffodil. Oh. I think that'd be quite pretty. Yeah. No, because then they would but I generally love all flowers. I don't like lilies because I don't like the smell of them. But I just love carnations and roses and daffodils. Do you like chrysanthemums? I don't mind them. But they tend to harbour healings. Yeah, they're not my favourite thing. I think my favourite thing, I just really love carnations. I love the smell. And they're quite cheap. I like a few, few freesias. Freesias. Oh yeah, they're Freesia. okay. I think so. Freesia. Now, when, before I like moved in, I did used to get myself flowers just about every week because I I love having flowers. 
shoppers in the house. But Alec does not allow me to get them with the shopping. Oh, yes. When we first started to do the shopping together, there was flowers going in the basket every week. <laughs> he didn't like it. But I like it because I just love flowers in the house. I had a supermarket strop one day. <laughs> A <laughs> supermarket strop. Yeah, and he hasn't stopped having them now. He has these little supermarket strops. Yeah. <laughs> it's not pretty. I'll try and catch one on film at some point. <laughs> no, you don't want to see that. You really don't want to see that. It's he goes all high pitched. I miss you. It's worse than having a domestic in the Oh, I know. I know, it's so embarrassing when you have a domestic in Sainsbury's. People are like looking at you out the corner of the eye, oh look at them two. Oh they're having a domestic. <laughs> Whatever it kind of means. Yeah. <laughs> and the blokes thinking, I, 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 I know how you feel mate. <laughs> and and the the she's thinking, what an idiot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the woman's thinking, what a knob. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what's happening. Because, you, you know, he gets his high-pitched voice on. You always know when it's a strop when his voice goes up several levels. He gets a bit tweaky. Octaves. Octaves. Okay, dear. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to have a car domestic. A vlog domestic. And I don't know because there's a biker off his bike now. Sometimes it's just, you know, a bit dirty. I said something last night, but I can't quite remember what it was. But you know, me and Tony were like, "Oh, shut up!" <laughs> he likes that cheeky sort of naughty humour. Something about being on top of their underneath. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Tom said to Alice in when what? she, yeah, in the sort of the duet with Laurel, well, something like that. Oh yeah, the girl's the voice. Yeah. yeah, he said, so you want to be underneath her then on top of her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he giggled like that. I raised the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> then he got told off and then he got a little clip across the back of his head. Because <laughs> he was like, no, Alec, shut up. <laughs> so, right now, oh, I really love it down here. It's really, really pretty. There's a stables down here. Some beautiful horses. I just think this is a really nice place to live. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're so beautiful. beautiful. Look at them. Probably beautiful horses. Good condition, that one. Oh, yeah. They're very well looked after, but this, this is, is a professional the stable. Bridge. The weak bridge. Oh, yes, this is a weak bridge mm -hmm. because heavy vehicles are not allowed to go over this bridge because it's very old and it could not take the weight. And there's generally little ducks down in the river. It's really pretty here. And there's some cows in that oh, field. No, you, you can't really. You can't no, you no. can't because it's like private land. So we'll go to a car boot in Durham. Brassside. Brassside. Oh, that's where we used to go. Quite a nice one. We do want to do a car boot, but we just didn't fancy it today. We fancied it just a bit of a. We have got the shop to do, but we wanted to have a little bit of a lazy start to the day, really. We're not organised. No, and we just want to enjoy the weather. It's such yeah. a nice day, and just, you know. But it's it's getting to the time where it's car booty weather again. It is, yes, and we will be doing them because we do have um, some stuff in the loft that we need to get rid of. We actually just put it up there and the stuff that was kind of left over, we donated so much to charity that just didn't seem to be selling and then we kept some other stuff. Well, the good news is, is that we've changed the times for car boot. It used to be eight and then buyers from nine. Mm -hmm. and now it's nine till 10. So that's good news because it was a little bit too early for me. I yeah, that's the thing about car boots. Sometimes they can be just a bit too early. And you know, you want to have a bit of a lie in on a Sunday sometimes. Yeah, well, definitely. Yeah. yeah, we had a well. So hopefully that means that the car boot might go on until about half twelve. Hopefully. Well, what time is it now? It's about half eleven, isn't it? Yeah. But this is a really good car boot, this one. It's a. Uh, I like this one. I think you get some like pretty decent quality and stuff. It's really nice. And we've like bought a few things from here as well. Yeah. Which I was 
just makes Alec laugh because you go with your car full, sell so much stuff, and then I buy stuff and put it back in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I got a lovely bootcase. Which I use. Yeah. Sorry, this is quite a bumpy road I'm on here. So I'm sorry if I've kind of moved around. It's the way you're driving. Undulating. Undulating. Have you swallowed a dictionary this morning? Yeah. Ah! Stop driving like a maniac! So, right, so uh, we are going to leave it there for now and hopefully you'll join us again soon. What are you doing? Are you filming? I don't know, am I? Yeah. You are. So here's Lisa trying on some cowboy boots here. <laughs> Very funny. And Nashville inspired. To go through white dress. Yeah. Yeah, I think she get them. Okay. Is it a deal? Yeah. That's a lot of balls. Uh, 30 pence each. Right, that's a good idea. Oh, look. Western. That is so cool though, there's some Western gear. Yeah. It's quite unusual to see people dressed up at a car boot. But there were some cowboys and cowgirls and Debbie Crockett's over there. Yeah, it's really quite cool. Alex is going to take Molly for a little walk. And I have got back to the car. So. It was pretty much over when we got here. Got a few little bits and pieces. Yeah. We need to come earlier next week. It's okay though. Um, I got like some nice little tea light holders. The lady on that store was like really reasonable. They're like six really bright colours. Yeah. Really, really nice. And they were 50 pence. Then I got a couple of tins for 10 pence and a little vase for 20. So that was quite good. And I got some cowboy boots, as you saw. They were only three pound. And they had to go with my Nashville style because <laughs> I've been quite inspired by um, a character called Scarlet in Nashville. So, yeah, you can see Molly trotting around. Rather so beautiful, it's really gorgeous. Um, I should have probably put some sunscreen on. I really didn't think it was going to be that hot, to be honest. So, yeah, and I kind of it's difficult to show you, kind of like uh, I got, but. <laughs> I got this tin and I actually had my eye on this for a little while because I like what it looks like a stamp and she's just kind of put some of nice stuff inside there so that was quite good so I can show you one of the tea light holders but they're all pretty colours that's a little blue one it's nothing special but they're all like six of them and they're like really pretty so I like my tea lights on and it's just safer to have like a candle on when you've got, especially a tea light when you've got them in something like that. So, yes. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm just going to enjoy some sunshine. She was after that person's hot dog. <laughs> it's the steroids. <laughs> Just make her want to eat everything. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Here we are at the Arnest and Summer. So I'm going to go at Pound Band first. And then they've got an outfit along here too. It's exciting. I'm in here looking to see if they've got any dainty doll. I don't know if they will have. I doubt it because it's Pound World. I think it's got dainty doll. I think this is just mad. They should open this up and mix and match because three colours. I know they're only a pound, but you really want three. You should just put them out loose and say three for a pound, and then you can pick out what you want. Because of course, some nice colours. These are a Hot Looks by collection. I haven't got what I'm looking for though. <laughs> that is definitely not what we're looking for. <laughs> That's not good. I can always trust Alec to find the wackiest things to try on in any shop. Ah, <laughs> oh, that goes with my Nashville thing. So you try it on. Okay. Wait, I have to take my hair out. Yeah. 
That's why I said point That's it at all me. That's it's filming now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I know I don't eat all. Interesting hot collection there. <laughs> I'll have to find another pound world. So I've left Alec in there because he was browsing through like 26 million CDs and I'm going to go down that outfit. Really busy here today, lots and lots of people. Um, so, yeah. there's a sale on at the minute, so um, I'm not sure if it's in all of the stores within outfit, but I know that Miss Selfish have a sale on, so I definitely want to have a look there. The M&S is now built here really huge that's where um, half as used to be before they had a big fire and here's next but I don't do next really <laughs> I sometimes get the odd nice thing and reasonable thing but for the most part it's not really my style um, but it's definitely a lot better down here than it used to be um, I think boots has gone though has it no, no no boots is still there and they have models on in there so yes I might have a little look over there as well But Miss Selfridge has got very, very uber expensive these days. And there was no sale racks in there whatsoever, even though Miss Selfridge have a big sale on, on their website, which is bizarre, I think. Um, but it's not very big in there actually, so maybe that's kind of why. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got a jumper in the sale and it was delivered. And I wasn't sure about it. I tried it on, I really like it, but I looked on the tag because I got it for £10. Tag said 39. There's no way I'd ever pay 39 for that. So I don't know. I just there's a scarf in there, and it was like 14 pound. I just think the Selfridge has just like hiked its prices up to a ridiculous amount. I don't think it's good for business. So I'm gonna have a look at boots, and then I'll have to go back because Alec might show up at some point. I'm probably gonna have to go back and find him in um, the pound shop. Still looking through CDs, no doubt. So I'm gonna go into boots. So. And you off. Huh.